Tell me everything that happened. <laughs> well, Daniel got some bad news and he didn't take it very well. Bad news? I'm getting fired, kicked to the curb, thrown out in the cold right before Christmas. With Dean, the first thing I had to do was get past my starstruck, because he's a good looking dude. I feel like I'm a good looking dude, but he's a good looking dude. There must be some other position in the company. You would think so, but we're moving in a different direction. One thing about Daniel in his journey, he's a guy who loves his family and yet struggles in his faith and needs a nudge to get him to where he needs to be. You've been stalking me all afternoon. I'm an angel. That's what we do. To me, there's nothing more serious than comedy. Poke me again, you're gonna lose the finger. <laughs> Sorry. The funnier something is, then the more impactful something dramatic can land. The film opens in a modern day setting and then we go back in time to the time when Mary and Joseph are getting ready to have that baby. You can't corner the market on grandkids, pal. And the firstborn should be named after me. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, this is Mary we're talking about here. And then we see this sweet story of Mary and Joseph and Jesus, and there's just nothing more spectacular and special and sweet. Just such great humor all throughout the film, albeit dealing with some serious issues and serious topics at times. Who's the father, Mary? Let me explain. Mary, okay, who's I, the father? God! <laughs> That's the best you can do. Problems have existed, literally, for for thousands of years, and we see that in the movie, and we're not alone uh, in that. We get to know Mary and Joseph in such a very real way, where you walk away going, I've never thought about how they must have felt in these moments. Not by power, but by my spirit. People love music, and we have some amazing talent. Pablo Aguirre, who's a three-time Grammy Award-winning artist, and his wife, Paulina Aguirre, who's also a Grammy Award-winning artist. Gabe Brown, who is uh, just an incredible talent. It was exciting, because it's kind of unique uh, for me. I've, I've either been hired as a singer or as an actor. I think this is the first time I've done a film where I've kind of done a little bit of both. Well, I think it's going to be a lot of fun for people to look at um, some biblical times in maybe a different way than they've ever seen it portrayed before. You can get there in half the time if you cut through Samaria. I'm just saying. Now, no respectable person will cut through Samaria. Everybody knows that. Well, I'll tell you this. A smart person on a donkey with a pregnant wife who wants to get to Bethlehem and back in order to have our grandchild at home, they would. There is always hope because Jesus is the hope of the world. And that's really what Christmas is about and what we celebrate every year is that God loved us all so much that he brought the hope of the world for us on Christmas. And so that's why in bringing back Christmas, we're bringing back the hope joy that is Christ world, into people's world, lives. World, joy to the world, the world, the world. The world. You know, we as a nation, we need to start thinking about why we have Christmas. It's a wonderful time for families to get together, to be together, and to love on each other. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. Follow us at bringingbackchristmasmovie.com. Just days before Christmas. Daniel Reese was ready to celebrate the season like Shoo! never before. It sounds like I'm getting a promotion. Ah! Until. You are amazing. We just don't have a job for you. I'm getting fired. I kicked to the curb right before Christmas. Now. You've been stalking me all afternoon. I'm an angel. That's what we do. In need of a little hope, he'll find heavenly help. If God really cared about me, he would take me out of this mess. And ultimately wow. see the world in a whole new light. <laughs> You're gonna come with me and I'm gonna introduce you to people who've had some hard knocks too. Just take the hand, Annie. I'm not gonna bite you. <laughs> Hello, Barnabas. Hello, Hi. Barnabas. Good day. <laughs> this guy with the camel, you look who's so important. Everyone has a camel nowadays. When are we gonna get one? No, 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 we're going to stick with the donkey. Let's cut to the chase. Your son, Joseph, is in love with our daughter, Mary. Mother <laughs> the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. And the plans he has for you, oh my goodness. Is this really what God wants? Joseph, oh, I, 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 Sorry, I mean moments. Give me a sign. Rediscover faith as hope is reborn. Welcome to the Bethlehem Inn. How may I help you? Bringing back Christmas. You're supposed to be an angel for crying out loud. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard? It's all about the journey. 